Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tall. And I'm Short. And together, we are the, the Tall and, and Short, short travelers. travelers. We wanted to pull together a little video to talk to you guys about the experiences we had buying our first rig and picking it out and why we've decided that we would change uh, our rigs uh, in the future. So our first rig that we bought, we mentioned last time, was a 2018 Keystone Montana 3730 um, front living. And um, the reason we had picked that out was because it had a lot more space, specifically in the shower area for Roger, who is six foot eight. Um, so we love the rig and everything about it. And we started, our idea of how to introduce ourselves was to travel as much as possible it, whether it be weekends or a week here and there and um, go uh, just use the rig and see how we liked it and what we what we wanted and the more we traveled we realized that uh, we love traveling and we like to travel for longer stretches of time um, a weekend was um, not necessarily the most fun for us because by the time you get set up you get you get something to eat then there's not that as much time to look around and enjoy um, the area and we're very much about um, meeting people in the local towns checking out local stores shopping um, local eating local uh, those sorts of things to bring to bring um, uh, learning to ourselves and and to help in the economies especially in smaller uh, smaller cities which we also or smaller towns, which we also like to go to. So one of the things we learned first was um, lack of storage in the basement. So that Roger wrestled with all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like she said. Once you once you start and uh, you start, the, you know, that first camping experience, and you know, you get out there and figure out what you need, uh, what you don't need. You know. Uh, you know, I started thinking, you know, hey, I would like to have a table. Hey, I would like to have, you know, a grill, which is a necessity. Um, you know, those type of things will typically with like your, especially your travel trailers um, uh, and some of your fifth wheels, depending on the floor plan, you don't, you don't have a lot of storage. So you really have to only purchase and, and buy the things that, that you know you're going to have room for. So, and, uh, and that was a struggle, as she said, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I saw Roger multiple times uh, wrestling with our cornhole set to get it out so that he could get to something vital uh, in the basement because our basement was very small. So that was one of the big, big reasons why we started looking to see if there was um, something else that would give us what we got with the front living and also provide us better storage and I, I the other thing is we we started realizing what kind of camping we liked you know because we tried um, campgrounds which are kind of pretty much rustic um, and then we've tried resorts can uh, RV resorts which have you know I think they had a spa um, actually at the res one of the resorts we went to with with anything that anything that has resort uh in the name you uh you, you're gonna be you're gonna have 50 amp service you're gonna have water sewer um concrete, pad. concrete pads cable good wi-fi most of the time so anything that has resort of course the first few times you can you i, I wanted those things the first few times because you're just you're learning and you're trying to figure it out and uh, you, you you don't want uh, anything to go wrong and if it does you know you want to you know be in a situation where you can fix it so um, yeah absolutely and, and we even ran it our very first trip we um, we one one thing we always recommended uh, folks just starting out is before you pull out of your site walk the um the way the exit route you're planning on taking because our very first campground um was our very first time out and it rained the night before we left and we didn't walk it and it turned out there there when we went there was a big rut and it turned everything sideways and um to the point where uh 
if, if it wasn't for the good Lord above, above blessing us, we, we really could have had a, a nasty uh, spill on our first weekend out. But in, in the, doing these things, we found out is very important uh, to us in our, and the way we want to camp in the future, which is out west in the mountains. Um, we want to boondock more, that there's certain things we needed. One, a generator we didn't have. But, but more importantly was the safety and um, towability improvements that come with uh, some of the new axle options. Yeah, we, we um, and as we watched videos and, uh, and, and I've, I've mentioned the channels that we watched on, on our last episode, um, and, and the forums that we had joined, uh, Keystone forums, Grand Design forums, uh, Jayco, uh, you know, we started seeing issues with axles um dexter axles and we started seeing issues you know people talking about brakes and then uh leaf and leaf springs and then we and then we uh, uh you know they talked about the 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 50 amp breaker and up front for the slides versus uh the 80 amp breaker um you know just just stuff like that and and i'm the type of individual that i listen and uh, a lot of times I'll replace it, whether it needs replacing or not. <laughs> In other words, if, if, if I see a forum where I see a majority of the people complaining that that 50 amp um, um, up front is, is, not what, is not what's needed, uh, there needs to be an 80 amp uh, breaker up front, then Roger's gonna go get the 80 amp breaker <laughs> the king of preemptive strikes <laughs> so you know it's just uh <laughs> and and we did that with our montana um you know we we did the we did the 80 amp uh, up front in the bay uh we replaced the um the anti-siphon vacuum breaker in the in the bathroom underneath the sink um added shut offs you know shut added offs. i added water shut offs you know just just those things that you know the water shut off so something happens in the middle of the night or in the middle of the day and you want to be able to get to the water quick to shut it off you know that was just something i you know i listened and uh you know one one of the things that will ruin a camping experience and a camper uh for sure is water so uh you know we 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 just did those things and um uh and that's why when we ordered our new grand design momentum 376 ths uh we we went with the 8k axles and the disc brakes and the independent suspension um, because we we heard um and and we watched lots of youtube videos and to me um when you see those forums and you see people talking you know you do you do see a lot of complaints on there but you do from time to time see people that that say hey i'm not here to complain i'm just here to say can you know way to do it grand design or way to do it keystone or or you know whatever um and you know that's um uh, that's just what i do i just i watch uh i watch those those comments i watch those videos and uh i make sure i take care of what needs to be taken care of before it happens, so I think it was the best route to go for us. Like I said, the, we, we see we saw a lot of complaints on on uh, the reason for that comment. We saw a lot of complaints about the axles and the brakes, and uh, we knew we were going to be traveling, and uh, we thought that was a a much 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 needed uh, an option for us when when we ordered our our yeah our based recently. on how we want to camp. Right. And, and and lastly, one of the things we, we knew we wanted to do was when we go out, because go out west, like he's got a major like um, bucket list item of going to Yellowstone National Park. Well, uh, a rig the size of ours, it, it's a lot harder to find or impossible to find inside the park um, places for it from what, we, what we've what we heard and, and, and read about. So... We wanted um, to bring a toy. We, we, we decided a motorcycle versus a golf cart or something like that. So we could motorcycle through the park um, and really enjoy it from 
by being in the park you can stop where you want it's a lot easier to pull off the side of the road with a motorcycle and explore and so needing that space was another um, big driver in why we wanted uh, to change rigs at this point so um that the so with this the this new um momentum that we're getting we we solved our our toy hauler problem we solved our the the need for bigger axles but we have a trip it's a triple axle first off and then with the 8k this breaks an independent suspension we're now elevating our ability to um to go off road to go across the mountains and 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 really be more prepared with that with a generator we're also and a generator and bigger um fresh tank and waste tanks correct mm -hmm. Um, that allows us to, to do some off uh, boondocking, which we were not able to do with um, with Lucy. Well, we also, you know, we we do want to do boon, some boondocking. We've, um, you know, you know, traveling is not not cheap. Uh, you know, you start wanting to stay at these resorts I was talking about, and and I know I watched a video not I don't know a couple of days ago, and. Um, not sure who it was, but somebody was talking about the the, the pricing. They had noticed the pricing in uh, uh, for RV, you know, or these RV parks and campgrounds and stuff had was, you know, was, price was going up per night. So could be something to do with the COVID. You know, there's a lot of people doing a lot more camping now. Uh, the influx and in sales, you know, across the board. So, but we wanted to do we wanted to do some more boondocking, you know, and get or do boondocking actually, because we've never actually boondocked. Um, we wanted to be able to do that and uh, we joined Harvest Host. And uh, and so hopefully we're gonna be able to, you know, take advantage of, of some of those things. And and uh, again, we're still, we both we both work. So, um, you know, starting, we're, we're just gonna be able to travel weekends and, and, and maybe uh, maybe reach out and do like a month or two here or there, you know, just depending on the, you know, on our situation. But um, again, we just wanted to come to you and just sort of, you know, give you an idea about, you well, know, I also why wanted we to, I also changed. wanted to tell something that's really important, I think, that we haven't said, and that is we've talked about the shower. Well, if you, I've looked at the the what the THS 379 TH, 376 376 yeah. THS. You'll notice that uh, contrary to our other one, the back in the ba the bathroom and the bedroom are elevated, which you would think would actually cause us to not be able to get it because the shower would be too low once again. However, um, in the grand design line, the momentums and the solitudes for sure, uh, they have sunken the shower so the shower is actually about seven or eight inches deep they, i think some people call it like a mini bathtub or something like that if you needed to bathe a, a pet or uh, something like that but with the with that design change it allows roger to be able to utilize a now a shower in the in a upper deck level and that that really was a game changer for us and why and when we first started looking, we didn't even look at anything that had the, the shower on the upper deck because it just would not work um, for him because I think the upper decks are 6'6". Six, six. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Not and really. so with the skylight in the shower, he's he's actually able to be comfortable um, taking a shower in, in his own rig. So that was that was that yeah. how we solved that problem. Yeah, somebody that, somebody that, for the guys that are out there, somebody that's just tall, I mean, you know, and and not only that, I, I like to be comfortable, you know, and I don't, I just don't want to walk around constantly stooping and and uh, you know, my wife's five foot tall, so she doesn't necessarily have to worry about anything like that. But you know, for me, I just, I don't want to always go around, you know, ducking my head and at least be able to stand up in my shower and and uh, until recently, you know, if, if you had, you know, after the step up, whether it be in the back or the front of the camper you know you automatically knew right then that you know hey this is not going to work and you know most taller people can't get in a corner shower either so we you know when we would walk in and look at some of the travel trailers when we first started as soon as i saw that corner shower i said no that's that's just not going to work so um 
you know, there's just several things to look for. And, and again, as we said on our first video, you know, you uh, and, and other people have said it, you know, the other channels and, and uh, you know, you just, um, you want to utilize the opportunity. You know, you, you get what you can get. You know, if you have to get something that's uh, not exactly what you want, but, you know, look at, look at doing that. And, you know, and here's the thing, and this is just the way it is. You're not ever going to be, it's there's, not, not, a perfect no, there's not a perfect camper. Mm -hmm. uh, you, <laughs> whether it be a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, um, you know, a class A, class B, class C, whatever. You, there's always going to be something along the way that you're going to say, man, I wished we had this option or I wish we had that option or you know you're you're never gonna you're never gonna find something that's that's perfect in every way so uh, utilize you know you got to do a lot of shopping you got to go yeah. out and do a lot of watch go, a lot of videos go 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 to the lots walk through every unit you can because we we've done that and and, on, and sometimes it's super <laughs> July July 4th week in in st. Augustine Florida was a really really um, hot and humid time to go uh, walk through un, not plugged in campers <laughs> and we, yeah. we were really um, it was kind of suffering but but we would do that we did that on vacation but wherever we traveled we would look for uh, RV um, dealers and go see what they have because you you could different areas have different plans so you get to see something new other and there's a such a vast a vast array of plans but go live in them I mean go sit I mean we've spent sometimes 30 45 minutes just sitting in a camper at the park at a RD, RV dealer just to get the feel make you see how it felt to us also just a tip if there's something you're really interested in call ahead to the dealer and a lot of times they will pull it up and plug it in and have it sitting there um, cool uh, out and all of, all of that so that you can um, really get the, the feel for it and many dealers I, we've never had one say say no um, to doing that so and if they did say no you don't want to buy from them anywho so um, but yeah that that that's a that's a kind of a big deal for for when you're shopping you want to you want to get out there and see every model you can see yeah a lot of times we uh, we you know over the past couple of years two or three years we would go out and we would see something on YouTube or on one of the one of the channels, and uh, we would say, "Oh man, that, that's it! That's our next camper! That's the one we want to get!" You know, and we would watch videos, and then we would go to the lot and walk in, and and we would walk into the camper, and it just really, it's almost like it's a you're broken hearted, you know, that you you thought you found the perfect camper, but you know, once you actually go see them. Um, you know, you there, they may be something that's a deal breaker for you. And uh, I know uh, Chad and Tara with Changing Lanes mentioned this in one of their most recent videos. You know, when you have an opportunity uh, to to find one of the uh, super shows, um, that's that's where you want to go. Um, you know, because those super shows are, you know, they they're represented by. You know all your big manufacturers you know get out there um, find out where those are go to those super shows uh, you're gonna see your big fifth wheels and your travel trailers and you know you're gonna see things that you typically may not see at any of the other uh, dealers mm -hmm. so get out there and look and 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 again um, find you something that you think you like, but just keep in mind to be open about it. You know, you're not going to find the perfect thing and, and you're going to end up trading your camper. You're going to end up sometimes two or three times. I mean, you, you know, you just, there's things that happen and, and, uh, you know, circumstances, whether you have kids or whether you get rid of kids or, you know, just whatever, there's going to be things happen. And, uh, you know, that's going to change your needs and, and stuff like that. But, but when you first get out there, just do as, do your due diligence, you know, and, and go to those RV shows and, uh, and visit those lots and dealers and watch lots of YouTube videos. So.
Is that, I mean. Yeah, anything? that's pretty much it. Oh, well, one of the things, we, we've talked a lot about the the, the aspects of, of him being tall and the, the impact on our on our camping and our camper shopping and that sort of thing. Um, it's going to be really hysterical to see me get up on the bed of our new camper. The Our older camper, I kind of had to do a little running jump to get up there, and this one is even higher, so I'm not exactly sure um, how that's going to work. I might have to start taking hmm. gymnastics classes or something so I can vault up on there. But uh, anyway, that'll be it'll be more things for from my perspective as far as being a, a short person and and camping uh when we get into that but um it, it we it, it should be a kind of fun to balance out anyhow and maybe if one becomes available close to us we can even before we get ours we can go do a, a kind of a walk through and show some of those things so Again, we uh, we appreciate you, and uh, and uh, this is only our second video. We're just we're just getting started. Uh, we just like to share some of our experiences um, and some of our what you know what little knowledge. There's lots of people out there that have you know a wow. lot more knowledge than we do, but you know just um, we watch so many videos and and and. Um, well, we have our own experiences too. Right. Everybody's experiences are unique and different, and so. Uh, the more different perspectives you have, the better you're informed you'll be when you're looking and making your own decisions. Right. So we are, we were actually going to do this outside today. Uh, you know, we're, we love to be outside, but, you know, I don't know. Of course, it's quit now. When, when you live in Florida, and, and again, we just moved here in April. But it's like, you know, you, you look at uh, weatherchannel.com and you see it's r chance of rain every day. Yeah. And uh, so one minute it's going to be sunny and, you know, now it's in the 80s, sunny and, you know, mid 80s. And then it'll drop five degrees and be pouring rain for 10 or 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And then it's back sunny and 80 again. So And sometimes it's sunny and raining. That's always fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> like my grandma always said, that means the devil's beating his wife. So I don't know where yeah. that's happening uh, at. That's, <laughs> that's, that's an old folks saying there. I don't know. My, my grandparents said that as well. So. But, uh, but anyway, so hopefully the next, uh, you know, episode, episode three can be outside. We, we love being outside and, uh, but again, uh, uh, thanks. Maybe we'll talk about trucks next, next Yeah, time. that's a, that's a, man. <laughs> we'll have to be real here. Walk the, walk the you gotta, line, you gotta walk, the line you, on the trucks. You gotta walk the line because, you know, people, a lot of people. Maybe get, we'll just talk about our truck. <laughs> a lot of people get hurt feelings over trucks. I, I, I'm not a. I'm not a brand specific guy. I've, I've I've owned Fords and Dodges and Chevrolets and GMC, so I'm not I'm not brand specific. I'm I'm a guy that you know you you get you get what you need, you know. And uh, I think they're all good. Some maybe have you know larger payloads and you know that type of It'd thing. It'd be good but, to show people how to figure out the yeah, payload just, of a and, truck and how to look at. The, don't listen to the internet. You know, you gotta look at the sticker of a of a specific truck. So, but we'll get into that next time. That may be a good a good uh, episode three. So. But anyway, you guys be good and and stay safe and uh, mask up if you need to. Yeah, if you need to, mask up until we can get through this. Yeah. And uh, God bless everybody, and uh, we'll see you in episode three. Bye bye.